Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Jack Church. More snow is headed our way starting tonight and continuing through Saturday morning. How much could we expect? Crater Lake could see 10 to 20 inches. Mount Shasta City, another big snow event for you, 10 to 16 inches. Weed, 5 to 10. Klamath Falls, 3 to 7. Wairika, 2 to 4. Cave Junction getting into the act this time with 2 to 5 possible. And even here in the Rogue Valley, we could see a couple of inches here by the time we get to Saturday morning as colder air will be pushing in. We have actually two systems moving in. One is coming through tonight, the first cold front. Then there's a second one coming through on Friday night. Put the two together, you've still got all that moisture feeding in from the Hawaiian Islands. That's the right ingredients for a heavy snow event across the area, primarily above 1,500 feet. Winter weather advisories across the Klamath Basin and back to Jackson County. Then we've got winter storm warnings in effect across the mountains of southwestern Oregon and northern California. Needless to say, many of our area passes will be heavily impacted by this snow later tonight and into tomorrow as well. Here you can see on the pinpoint forecast, by the time we get to early Friday morning, widespread snow across the area with that snow level going down to 1500 feet, primarily rain, of course, along the coastline. Then as we head towards Friday afternoon and evening, we continue to see snow not as widespread, so we kind of get a little bit of a break. If you've got to do some traveling around midday would be OK, but then it picks up again on Friday night, widespread snow, and that's when two even here in the Rogue Valley, we can see an inch or two of snow from this Mount Shasta City area again, getting the lion's share of the real heavy stuff and then rain continues along the coastline. Continue into Saturday morning, more snow throughout the day off and on on Saturday. It's going to be a chilly, blustery afternoon, but they, things will start to clear up though by Sunday afternoon. Tonight, I might mention even chance of a thunderstorm at the coast, lows hovering in the lower 40s. Tomorrow, breezy to windy at times with rain off and on, temperatures just in the 40s. Meanwhile, east of the Cascades, we're talking just snow. That's right, accumulating snow all across the region tonight in the 20s. Tomorrow, just in the 30s with snow off and on throughout the day in Klamath Falls, Paisley, as well as Lakeview and, of course, Crater Lake. Here in our West Valleys overnight, it'll be rain mixing with a little snow. Just plain old snow, though, probably in the Cave Junction area. Snow for Wairika and Mount Shasta City. Accumulating snow, that is, could be heavy at Mount Shasta City. The rest of us, it would just be rain tomorrow with temperatures in the 40s after mixing with some snow in the early morning hours. The extended forecast, we do start to get a break, though, Sunday afternoon and Monday, Tuesday look to be pretty nice days, albeit a little bit on the chilly side. Meantime, Klamath Basin, snow accumulating snow, both Friday and Saturday. Then we're clearing up for Sunday, Monday, and into Tuesday as well. At the coast, rainy days for Friday and Saturday. Sunday afternoon, the sun may poke through. Monday, Tuesday look to be dry and nice. Finally, in Northern California, there will likely be some travel problems here Friday and Saturday along Interstate 5 with snow in the forecast. Things get better, though, as we get into Sunday afternoon, Monday and Tuesday as well. Thanks for joining us here online. And of course, you can join us over the air for your latest forecast as well. That's at NBC5 News. Have a great day.